Today I'm going to try and summarize the lesson I gave two days ago, uh, which was an introductory lesson to measurement and measurement systems. In particular, we're going to focus today on the imperial system using feet, inches, um, we'll refer to miles and yards as well, but feet and inches are my main concern today. Um, we will also learn a little bit about the metric system. I won't need you to know how to convert between the two systems, just know about them and I'll give you a, a list as necessary for the next test, okay? The reason why I want to do the imperial system is because when you're doing anything around the house like painting a room, um, fixing a window or anything like that, the pieces and the parts that you buy almost always come in the imperial system. For example, don't move it, Kevin. We'll just keep it right there. Uh, this piece of glass, it's a plexiglass. I didn't need a piece this big, but it comes in standard sizes. So I had to get a size that was 30 inches by 30 inches. So there you go, it's 30 inches. Um, if you look on the other side of the tape measure, you'll see that it's also a little bit more than 76 centimeters, but as I said before, it's almost never spoken about that way. We almost always do it in inches, so this is 30 by 30. Um, so let's go over to the table and we'll, we'll start taking down a few notes and we'll get started. Move these out of the way. So this unit is measurement. I don't know how it's coming out on the screen there, but um, we'll hold this up at the end, okay? So there's two systems. And one is the imperial And the other is the metric. In the imperial system, you use uh, units such as feet, inches, miles. Um, you'll also use units such as pounds, and you'll also use units such as um, degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so these three things here are measures of length. This here is a measure of weight. And this one here is a measure of temperature. If we go to the metric system, um, we might have units of meters spelled with an R-E-S, by the way, the French way, uh, centimeters, kilometers, and just to stay consistent, I'll draw a like, nice curvy line under that, just like I did with the lengths over here. In the metric system, they don't use pounds, they use something called grams, and actually grams are not really weight, um, scientists would be refer to that as mass, and staying with my analogy over here, we're going to say degrees Celsius, okay? So, that's a bit of an introduction to that. In the imperial system, we use fractions. Uh, for example, we say four and three eighths inches. That's a symbol for inches. We do not say 4.3. You don't count three notches and call it 4.3. On the other hand, in the metric system, we use decimals. And we would say 5.9 centimeters not five and nine sixteenths centimeters. It, we don't talk like that, okay? So 
keep the decimals over there for the most part and keep the fractions over here. Um, there's some really awkward What am I looking for? I've got a memory blank. There's some really awkward measurements. For example, 12 inches equals one foot. And I'll say one foot. Three feet equal one yard. We'll go over here. Um, we'll say, here's a real awkward one, 5,280 feet equal one mile. And here's another one, 1,760 yards also equal a mile. So... Um, I would like to move over to here. Okay, so we're going this way. Kevin, I hope this doesn't wreck things. What is one inch? One inch is approximately equal to the length of your knuckle. In other words, from there to there, that's approximately one inch. One foot, well, that's an easy one. It makes sense. This is the length of a shoe. Okay, that symbol again is approximately equal to. One yard is approximately equal to one large step and one mile is approximately equal to a 30 minute stroll not a brisk walk but a nice slow stroll through the park 30 minutes or so that's a mile so, um, I'm going to put this back over here. What I want to do now is I want to take this um, measurement here, an inch. Now you'll notice, as I said before, there's 12 inches in a foot. Okay, so here's the, this blue ruler is one of our school rulers. It's about a foot long. It goes from 1 to 12 on one side. That's the imperial system. On the other side, it's the metric system. You won't worry about that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inch and I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to make a really big, oversized image of an inch, and it'll look like this. Okay, so there's my image of an inch. So this is one. This is zero. An inch is subdivided. We keep cutting an inch in half. I'm gonna kind of try and make that a little nicer. That's pretty ugly. There we are. So we're gonna cut this inch in half, and I'm gonna put that approximately like that. So if any of you have any kids in school that are in kindergarten or grade one, you might get them a primary ruler that is divided only into half inches. Or the teacher might have them at school already. So that is a half inch from here to there. Here, we're going to take that half inch and subdivide it. Now our inch is divided into four equal sections, and obviously they're, if they're all the equal size, they're all called quarters. So this mark here is one quarter. Further subdividing it, I'm going to go like this. Take every little piece, cut it in half. 
you'll notice I'm attempting to make all my quarters, like this one and this one, the same height. All these, the same height. By the way, these are eighths. And by the same way, we're going to call these little guys here sixteenths. So here's our zero mark, and here's one inch. You know that this is actually 16 times the life size, by the way. Um, if I were to go over here and say, well, what is this measurement right here? And let's call this point A. Well, I know that my ruler is divided into sixteenths. How do I know that? Because I count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It must be sixteenths. So I want to know what this A is represented. What fraction represents the letter A? Well, you might know it to be three-eighths right off the bat. Well, if you don't know that, we're going to do it this way. Let's count how many notches we moved over. So you don't count this one here, you count this one first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So officially it's kind of like six sixteenths, but nobody really accepts that as a true answer. It's correct, but it's not acceptable, if that makes any sense. We always reduce fractions when possible. So you might recognize that 6 sixteenths is equal to 3 eighths. And 3 eighths cannot be further reduced. And so the correct answer for A is 3 eighths. Um, over here, let's put another one. We're going to call this the letter B. I'm going to kind of bop around a little bit here. Okay, so you look at that, and anybody who's used to using a ruler recognizes, excuse me, that as being 13 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so how did I get that if I'm not used to using a ruler? Simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 what? Sixteenths. Now, can that be reduced? No, it can't be. There's no possible way to reduce this, this number here. Is that the only way to get 13 sixteenths? No, not at all. Those just beginning will probably start here at zero and count that way. Those who are a little bit more used to it recognize that the number one is really 16 sixteenths. So all you have to do is back up. Well, if this is 16, Go 15, 14, 13. Okay? So, um, if you were to give me an answer like 6 sixteenths or over here, a likely answer I would get very often will be, we'll call this C. A likely answer, very common answer, is 10 sixteenths. Okay, is that person wrong? No. Is that person completely correct? Also no. The acceptable answer for that is a reduced fraction of 5 eighths. Now, if you don't know about reducing fractions, and this course is not really about that, um, you know how to use your fraction calculator. You, for example, you enter the fraction 10 sixteenths. And I'll write that on here. Maybe we'll be able to pick it up. So go 10, ABC, and then sixteenths, and possibly equals, depending on your calculator. If you do that, you will get 5 eighths. Anybody who wants to go on after high school, to do anything with measuring, nursing, carpentry, or whatever, you have to learn how to do this without a calculator. It's absolutely important. Okay, so that's it for the moment.
cancelled.